it's enough to drive you barking mad. It's our worst nightmare. We all love our dogs, but can we really control our dogs' excessive barking? Hello and welcome to my channel, all about dogs. So let's jump right into it. One of these seven proven methods might just be what you need to turn your dog from this to this. Our number one technique, positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is a powerful training tool that can be used to teach your dog to stop barking. This method involves rewarding your dog for desired behaviors, such as being quiet and ignoring them for undesirable behaviors, such as excessive barking. Here's how you can use positive reinforcement to stop your dog from barking excessively. One, begin by identifying the behavior you want to modify. In our case, it's excessive barking. Two, choose a reward that your dog finds highly motivating, such as a treat, toy, or affection. 3. Observe your dog while they are barking. Give the command no barking and be ready to immediately reward them as soon as they stop. The timing of the reward is critical, as your dog needs to associate the reward with the action of not barking. 4. Repeat this action as often as necessary and gradually increase the duration of time that your dog remains quiet before receiving a reward. 5. Once your dog has consistently stopped barking for a few seconds or more, you can gradually increase the time requirement, asking them to be quiet for extended periods before rewarding them. 6. Finally, gradually reduce the frequency of the rewards until your dog can stop barking for an extended period without any reward at all. Our number two technique, regular exercise. Regular exercise is essential for a happy and healthy dog. Not only does it help keep them physically fit, but it also provides mental stimulation, which will help reduce excessive barking. Here's why regular exercise is so important in stopping your dog from barking excessively. One, regular exercise will help tire out your dog and reduce their energy levels. A tired dog is less likely to bark excessively, especially if the barking is due to stored up energy. Two, exercise also provides mental stimulation for your dog. Dogs are naturally active and curious animals, and they need opportunities to explore their environment and engage their minds. Exercise provides these opportunities and helps keep your dog from becoming bored and restless, which can lead to excessive barking. 3. Exercise is also a great opportunity to bond with your dog. Spending time together, playing games, or going for walks can help strengthen your relationship and create a positive association between exercise and a quiet home. Our number 3 technique, mental stimulation. Mental stimulation is an important aspect of a well-rounded life for dogs, and it can also help reduce excessive barking. Just like humans, dogs need opportunities to challenge their minds, learn new things, and be engaged in activities that stimulate their senses. Here's how you can use mental stimulation to help stop your dog from barking excessively. 1. Boredom. Dogs that are bored and lack mental stimulation are more likely to bark excessively. This is because barking can be a way for dogs to release pent-up energy and get attention, providing mental stimulation through interactive toys, puzzles, and training can help prevent boredom and reduce excessive barking. 2. Cognitive Development Mental stimulation can also help improve your dog's cognitive development and problem-solving skills. This not only helps keep your dog's mind active, but can also improve their overall behavior and reduce barking. 3. Emotional well-being. Engaging in mentally stimulating activities can also have a positive impact on your dog's emotional well-being. It helps reduce stress and separation anxiety. If you're enjoying this video, why not subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. You'll be the first to know when we post new content, and you'll never miss a new video from us. Thank you for your support. Our number four technique, training. Training is important for a well-behaved and well-adjusted dog. Through training, you can teach your dog new skills and reinforce good behavior. Training is a very effective way to reduce your dog's excessive barking. Here are three ways in which training can help stop your dog from barking excessively. One, 
Obedience training, teaching your dog basic obedience commands such as sit, stay, and come can help you control their behavior and prevent barking in certain situations. For example, if your dog is barking at strangers, you can use the quiet command to stop them from barking. Two, desensitization training. If your dog barks excessively at certain stimuli, such as other dogs or loud noises, you can use desensitization training to help reduce their reaction. This involves gradually exposing your dog to the stimulus while rewarding them for remaining calm and not barking. Three, positive reinforcement. Training using positive reinforcement methods such as treats, praise, and toys can help encourage good behavior and reduce barking. This reinforces what you want to see in your dog and helps them understand what you expect of them. Four, keeping it consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to training your dog. Make sure to use the same commands, rewards, and consequences every time and be patient with your dog as they learn. If you would like to learn how you can train your dog successfully yourself, then look no further than Adrienne Ferricelli, the creator of Brain Training for Dogs. I can't recommend her enough and have put her link below in the description. Our number five technique, removing triggers. Removing triggers is another effective way to stop your dog from barking excessively. A trigger can be anything that sets off your dog and leads to barking, such as a certain noise, a visitor, or even a specific scent. By removing or minimizing the trigger, you can help prevent barking before it even starts. Here is our method to identify and remove any triggers that may be causing your dog to bark excessively. 1. Identify the trigger. Observe your dog's behavior to determine what triggers their barking. This could be a certain noise, the presence of another animal, or a certain person or object. 2. Remove the trigger. Once you've identified the trigger, try to remove it from your dog's environment. For example, if your dog barks at the mailman, you could keep your dog inside during the time the mail is delivered and draw the curtains. 3. Create a positive association. If it's not possible to remove the trigger, you can create a positive association with it. For example, if your dog barks at visitors, you could have visitors give treats or toys to help your dog associate them with positive experiences. 4. Train your dog. Training can also be helpful in removing triggers. For example, if your dog barks at other dogs during walks, you could train your dog to remain calm and focused using obedience commands and positive reinforcement. Our number six technique, Desensitization. Desensitization is a technique used in dog training to help reduce excessive barking and other unwanted behaviors. The goal of desensitization is to gradually expose your dog to the stimulus that triggers their barking, while rewarding good behavior and teaching them to remain calm in the presence of the trigger. Here's the five steps needed to successfully desensitize your dog to triggers that may be causing him to bark excessively. 1. Identify the trigger. The first step in desensitization is to identify the trigger that causes your dog to bark excessively. This could be anything from other dogs to loud noises. 2. Create a plan. Once you've identified the trigger, you'll need to create a plan to gradually expose your dog to the trigger in a controlled way. This may involve starting with a very low level of exposure and gradually increasing it over time. 3. Reward calm behavior. Throughout the desensitization process, it's important to reward your dog for remaining calm and not barking. This could involve giving them treats, praise, or a favorite toy. 4. Gradually increase exposure. As your dog becomes more comfortable with the trigger, you can gradually increase their exposure. This may involve increasing the volume of a noise or introducing them to other dogs from a distance. 5. Be patient. Desensitization can take time, and it's important to be patient with your dog throughout the process. If your dog becomes stressed or agitated, take a step back and try again at a lower level of exposure.
Our number seven technique, consult a professional. If you're struggling to stop your dog from barking excessively, it's important to consider consulting a professional dog trainer or behaviorist. A professional can assess your dog's behavior and help you develop a personalized training plan that addresses the underlying causes of their barking. Here are some reasons why you might consider consulting a professional dog trainer or behaviorist. One, you've tried other methods without success. If you've tried other methods to stop your dog from barking and haven't seen any improvement, it may be time to consult a professional. They can help you identify any underlying issues and develop a more effective training plan. Two, your dog's barking is causing problems. If your dog's barking is causing problems with your neighbors, or if it's leading to stress and anxiety for you or your dog, it's important to address the issue as soon as possible. A professional can help you develop a plan to reduce your dog's barking and improve their behavior. Three, you're not sure what's causing your dog's barking. If you're not sure what's causing your dog's barking, it can be difficult to address the issue effectively. A professional can assess your dog's behavior and help you identify any underlying issues that may be contributing to their barking. Four, you want to ensure your dog's well-being. Excessive barking can be a sign of stress, anxiety, or other underlying issues that can affect your dog's overall well-being. Consulting a professional can help you ensure that your dog is happy and healthy. And that's it. With these top seven methods, you can help your dog stop barking excessively and enjoy a more peaceful home. Remember, every dog is different. So what works for one dog may not work for another. Find what works best for you and your furry friend. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more pet care tips and tricks. See you in the next video.